All right, here we go. Uh, hey, this is the Street Monk saying hello to everybody. I got Major Stone here, and she's wonderful. She's, uh, I guess, pretty new in our area, right? No. In helping the homeless? Here, came back. I came. I was over here on Euclid and F. Uh -huh. Bethel Church in okay. 1998, I believe it was. Okay. And then we went away, and now I came back over here. Okay. And she's at a local church right close by, and she feeds uh, pretty much to, all through the week, mostly the mornings. We pass out mm -hmm. lunches, uh, sanitary supplies, any type of thing like that that you would need. We yeah, like hygiene. Clothing, hygiene mm -hmm. bags. Mm -hmm. We don't do clothing anymore, but if someone, say, just got out of jail or whatever and they have no shoes or yeah. no shirt or underwear, I have that here. But uh, mainly it's just snack food during the week, and on Fridays I try to make a hot meal. Yeah, and uh, right now we, I just finished eating a hot meal. It was delicious. It was uh, some kind of barbecue meat. It was really awesome. Uh, along it's with barbecue ribs. Barbecue ribs. There yes. you go. Yeah, Great and barbecue ribs. Pauling sausage, corn, and the cob. It was really good. I look forward to coming on Fridays. If I can remember, <laughs> I forget a lot of times. But it's always good to, to come on Friday. I always make it up my plan to come mm -hmm. uh, for that, especially. So anyways, uh, my interest is why, why do you take care of the homeless? Why do you like caring for the homeless? Knowing... They're not the best kind of people out here. I mean, they could be pretty but rough. But just like if they weren't homeless, mm -hmm. they would be those same type of people that would live next door to you Welcome. or down the street from you. They just happen to live in the environment. But how I got off into it years ago, uh, they used to call them hobos. And my <laughs> grandfather <laughs> used to come. I'm from Illinois. Yeah. And you have to come around the back uh, to put your car in the garage. And so... They would always have somebody out there in the back in the garage. What are these hobos? And it was hobos. Okay. And Grandma would always fix them. The most, I think, at one time might have been three together. Usually it's probably one guy or whatever. No women. I never saw any women okay. doing it. And the, did you say there's a, tr a training tracks close by? No, okay. not train. Well, there's there's train they tracks in every city, okay. but they would always come down the alley. Okay. And Grandpa would always give them food. Grandpa. Well, Grandpa would take oh, it out there. Nice. My grandmother would always was cooking. Oh, good. good and good. then she would take them food out there, like green beans, yeah. uh, cabbage. You know, they made that kind of food. Oh, so awesome. Day. And I guess that's why a couple of them always knew to go up 6th Street, right. 720. And the word gets Street. around, I'm sure, by the hobos. Yeah. They but also it never do. was a whole lot of people. Okay. okay. You know. And the majority of them, from me being a little bitty girl, were alcoholics. Mm -hmm. They were alcoholics. And I know drugs was out in that time. Yeah. But most of them were, were alcoholics, and they were very respectful. Yeah. Very, very recent. So you grew up around um, sort of like this environment with the homeless or hobos? Hobos. Yeah. And at our church, they fed people. I've, I've been in the church my whole life. Uh, so it's just always, always do something for someone less fortunate than yourself. You learned that from and your parents? From my parents, uh -huh. grandparents, and that's just wow. how we were brought up. Okay. And I tell the homeless that come here. Don't throw the food away. Don't throw because you don't like uh, granola bars. Give it to somebody else. Pass it along. Uh -huh. You know, and that's that's what I try to instill within them, to have respect for others, and then others will respect you. Yeah. Not that same person, but maybe somebody else. But you know, a lot of people out here, um, I know a lot of people that go to church, but they don't see this as a... No. As important feeding the homeless. How is it that you do? Because because they go to church. Okay. You have to live church. Live church. Very good. I you like see, it. it's a mm -hmm. difference. You're not different than anybody else. No. And if you read the Bible, he's one of them. If you read the Bible and study the Word, yeah. Jesus went amongst all kind of people. Right. You know, yeah. all kind. So you have to put that into yeah. perspective. Well, wonderful. It sounds like you're living your faith out, which is kind of a rare thing, I see. Well, we all should be. Yeah. Because uh, 
studying the book of eschatology uh, in times, it's so evident what's going on now. Yeah. Young kids going against their parents. Uh, now all this here stuff is going on. So what, who are Definitely. you going to follow? Times are only going to get harder. Yeah. So if you don't, if I don't help you, in turn, you always helping people. So I can refer people to you, the coffee spiller man with the shoes. There you go. She's referring to me. <laughs> <laughs> I got well, a reputation no. on spilling coffee. <laughs> I think I it's instilled within people as yeah. children. I think you're to right. Do. Has, and then as they grow up, they will, you know. Remember, go back on that. And remember. That. And, because you've sat here and members of this church will walk by and not even speak. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and that's sad. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's why it takes a rare kind of person to be out here serving and homeless, you know. And it takes a lot of patience as well. But, uh, and your name again? Major Stone. Major I Stone. A, I have a military school. I've had yeah. it for almost 40 years. And she's dressed down right now. That's why you, you don't see her in her military no, gear. No, it's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. It's <laughs> way too hot. Okay. When it gets past 89, I do not wear it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, Major Stone, thank you very much for the interview. And like I said, this is uh, Street Monk. Uh, uh, interviewing Major Stone, she's uh, one of the few that do feed almost out here in the streets and we're, we're always very um, thankful that she's out here um, during the COVID times a lot of people have shut their doors but she has opened them up so we're, we're uh, very fortunate I to have her yeah. alright guys thank you very much and that's me see y'all later alright